So this is probably going to end up being a longer video, but I I really want to talk on something here that within the Titanic community that drives me up the wall. That I've no you know as I've said before I've you know I've studied Titanic for twenty five plus years. I've owned Titanic Truce LLC now for ten years this month. In fact, just the other day was our official ten. 10 year anniversary at uh, the you know and while the audience has been for titanic truths has been you know fairly small in the comparison of things you know tiktok here being fairly new just less less than a year on tiktok but you know 14,000 subs on youtube around 16,000 at the peak a few thousand on Facebook and so on, you know, those who have followed have been amazing. And the support, all of that has been absolutely amazing over these 10 years doing this. But outside of that, Titanic, the Titanic community as a whole has got to be one of the most toxic fan bases in the world. You know, I mean, there's so many fan bases out there. You know, you know, people like, you know, like I love Star Wars. And you have a Star Wars fan base out there. You have a community of people in the Star Wars in the Star Wars fan fandom that they like to build the droids, R2D2, BB8, so on. And if anybody needs help, the rest of the fan community is right there to help them. They are some of the most amazing people you will ever see. But you don't see that in the Titanic community. If somebody in the Titanic community has an, an, an opinion or a thought that just differs in the most slightest little way from the norm... They are just chastised and and just obliterated by everybody else. If people don't blindly just follow Cameron and Ballard and all of them to the T exactly as they say it, you know, you get chastised, you get obliterated, you get gutted in this community. It's it, fans are not allowed. To have their own independent thoughts, basically. You have a, a certain group of people within this community who are the chosen leaders of the entire thing. And if you don't do exactly as they say and believe what they tell you to believe, you're, you know, you're a nobody, basically. Uh, you know, my attraction project is a absolutely perfect example of this right here because i myself have spoken out over the years on facebook and tiktok and youtube against ballard and cameron and i have butted up against their ideas and their theories and shown my theories that i think disprove theirs you know my attraction has been very slow going. I've got all these tickets here. I've got the app up on Facebook. Nothing. But I could guarantee that if Ballard or Cameron themselves presented the community with the exact same project, the exact same project, tickets would be sold out within 24 hours. The place would be built within a year and it'd be done. If they say it, it's golden, it's God's rule, you're done, follow it to the end of the earth. But if anybody else does it, nope. Beat them, bash them, chastise them, just pummel them into the ground. The toxicity in this community has got to stop. People are allowed to have their own opinions. They are allowed to say what they want to believe. Do, you know, people out there have come to me 
I'm not, I've done videos on it, on the switch theory, or the fire, coal bunker fire theory, you know? And I've presented videos that show the evidence that disprove those. But I've done so in a professional manner. I don't get rude. I don't get belligerent. I don't cuss them out. Nothing like that. I simply show them the evidence and I allow them to make their own decision. If they want to ignore what I have presented and continue to believe it, fine. Then from there on out, I will ignore them. But I don't sit there and, like I said, bash them and cuss them out, call them names, all of this stuff. I present the evidence in a professional manner. The toxicity has to end in this community. I said, in all of my platforms, here on TikTok, on face, all my Facebook groups, YouTube, all of that, I don't allow the toxicity. If you come into my comments being just downright toxic and just willfully rude and, and just all of that, I will throw you overboard. I am the captain of this, of all of this. I am the captain of this TikTok, of face, of my Facebook pages. I am the captain of my YouTube. And if you try to come in and be toxic and destroy things that I have built up, I will throw you overboard. I will not allow it. I just wish other moderators and administrators of these groups would do the same thing. But the prop, but they don't. The thing is, is they will throw you out. You know, half the time, the, it's the moderators themselves that are the ones being the most toxic. That if you don't post exactly what they believe and they want to see within their group, they'll throw you out. Now, I welcome different opinions and different views. But as I said, if you be polite, I will be polite. You know, if you present the switch, you think the switch theory was true, I will politely show you the evidence that shows it is not true, as I have done before. But if you come in being rude and hateful and toxic, then I will just throw you overboard without even worrying about it. And... I, I said more and more moderators need to start doing that. Titanic is one of the biggest fan bases in the world. It has lasted for well over a hundred years now. You know, and we get new fans every generation. But as toxic as these people are in this community, you're going to end up having these young new generations of fans who are starting to find Titanic. They're they don't know much yet. They're trying to learn. But if they say the wrong thing, somebody's going to bash them and just go go off on them about how ignorant they are and all this stuff. And it's going to end up causing them to lose interest and just say, forget Titanic. And eventually, there will be no more Titanic fans. Eventually, the wreck will dissolve away. There will be no more fan base, and Titanic will be relegated to the history books. And the only known things of Titanic will be these fictionalized movies, like what Cameron has made. You know, that will be the legacy of Titanic. If we want to preserve the real legacy of Titanic, the real history of Titanic, then this toxicity has to stop. Yes, people may say stuff that irritates pe others. may irritate you. It irritates me sometimes. But go at it with a professional mindset. Don't bash them. Just present the evidence. Be kind. End the toxicity in the Titanic community. There is no reason... That this community has to be this toxic all the time. Just every single day. And I'm sure other people have seen it for themselves. It's got to stop.